Hi everyone. I wanted to just go over quickly with you how Zuni can really help support your efforts next week, December 4th through the 10th, for the Hour of Code. There are a few different ways that we can help to support you and your students and the classrooms and teachers in getting going with it. Hour of Code is the easiest thing to participate in, and yet it's going to be one of the most fun and enjoyable activities your students are going to do. You can hover over any grade and you can click on Technology. You're going to find Be Inspired videos, Hour of Code lesson ideas. So if we looked at these Be Inspired videos, principals, you might share these videos out with your teachers, or teachers might share these with their students every day. This could be a morning meeting activity. And you'll be able to watch little videos to kind of see and excitement to get everyone coding. So here are great little videos. You can even just click on the share icon and you can share it on your school's Facebook page every day and say, hey parents, we're going to get going with the hour of code. Just simply click right there and click on the Facebook and let this go out and get your parents excited about the hour of code. If you have all of you, if you're a principal and you have all of your teachers put together, then you could simply check a, a class that you might have first grade, second grade, third grade, or fourth grade, fifth grade, whichever classes might be participating. You could select it and share that resource would then go to all of the teachers and they would have it to be able to use on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. You could also put it into Google Classroom if you'd like to, so students can watch in Google Classroom as well, or your teachers. So it's easy to get the word out about these great videos for everyone to be able to watch and use to get that excitement going. And if you want to uh, keep it in your garden, remember you can plant it to your garden. So you can say, I like these four videos, so you can just plant it to your garden, keep your favorites over there. And then if you want to share a whole collection with teachers, you can do that as well. If you want to share a whole collection with students, it's easy to do that direction. So just use your little icons here to manipulate and maneuver this content any way you like. So that's a great way to just kind of build some excitement and momentum. Now let's take a look and say if we want to go ahead and just um, actually look at a lesson idea. Teachers could actually look at lesson ideas of how they want to implement, but it's not necessary to be able to get the kids coding. I'm just going to share with you what they can do, but then I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to just have fun coding. And here's an example from code.org of an actual lesson plan. So here's the lesson overview, lesson objectives, your teaching summary. They do a great job with the teaching guide, any materials. So it's everything a teacher can need if they actually want to do a formal lesson with coding. But remember, like I said, they don't even have to go this far, but we want to let you know that these resources are here and are available, and they just can be found right underneath the Hour of Code and under Technology and the Hour of Code Lesson Ideas. But again, you don't even have to go that far. Instead, they can just click on Hour of Code. This is what we did yesterday at one of our schools in Brinkley. And fourth grade, it was just wonderful. We, it was the first time to log into Zuni, so we were covering everything, getting the logins in. And then we talked to the kids for five minutes. I just asked them about what coding is, what, what makes computer software work, and if they had any idea how to understand coding. It was a really fun conversation. It was quick, maybe two to three minutes. And then we went ahead and we just opened Moana, and I already have it open here. And we just watched the video all together, which just took a couple minutes, and then we practiced lesson one together on the smart board while they had their iPads closed, and then they opened them up and off to coding they got started. And I just have to tell you, the questions that you heard coming from the students and the excitement was really in, encouraged, those higher order thinking skills of how did this work, why did this work, uh, oh, if I try this, maybe it worked that way. So it was a lot of problem solving skills taking place. And we got started that evening. One last thing. To sign up to officially participate in the Hour of Code is super easy. I'm still under the Hour of Coding resources, and if I click on Hour of Code official sites, I will be taken right to where I can sign up in less than five seconds. All I need to do is click Join Us. Fill out these four boxes. Just put my school name, put an email, select my country, select the event type that I'm going to have it in school, and then I'm officially going to then show up somewhere on the map here. So please uh, get started with Hour of Code and enjoy coding some day, some, at some point for some hour during December 4th through the 10th. And if you just can't squeeze it in during the school day, be sure and let kids know that they can do it at home, show their parents, it's super easy, they just log into Zuni, they can come over to Coding Activities, 
and they'll be right here in the midst of all of these games. So enjoy coding and have a great week.